Welcome back to Theology with Puppies. I'm Jonathan Hill, and if you like this material, remember to click like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do. I'm joined with Marco. I brought him along because I want to talk about the multiple axes, the multiple kind of dialectical axes that exist in Orthodox theology. And I'm going to be using him to discuss a conflation of two of them. Okay, so let's first discuss what these axes are. They're not limited to this, but these are the main axes, right? Uncreated, created, being beyond being, divine human, essence energy. Okay, so these are axes upon which we discuss orthodox theology. Oftentimes, they will actually get erroneously conflated with each other. Okay? And I'm going to discuss a particular one now. Throughout this uh, podcast with the ground, particularly season one and on symbolism, and discussing in this video series, Father Justinian and I have talked about how <clears throat> there's a hierarchy of being, and that the higher contains the lower. Okay, and this is why I have Marco here because we're gonna we're gonna use him to highlight this kind of conflation. Okay, so we have being at the bottom in the form of rock, right? I have a rock here. Okay, we have life in the form of trees. Unfortunately, I don't have any bushes with me or any kind of plants. We have mind, okay, in the form of animal, and then noose in the form of man. And as you go up the hierarchy tree, it contains the lower. So the rock is being, the tree is life, but the tree is also being. So it's being at a higher intensity. Marco is being and life and mind. He is being at a higher intensity than both the life and the tree. And then obviously man at the top, right? Man with noose. So <clears throat> there's another dialectic, which is, well, or rather two more, essence, energy, and being, and beyond being. Okay? And these will get conflated often erroneously conflated. They'll say, some will say that the essence is beyond being and the energy is being. And they will, they will erroneously think that that which is beyond being is unknowable, or rather that which is unknowable is beyond being, that which is knowable is being. Okay, I'm gonna explain why this is an erroneous conflation between essence as unknowable, <laughs> rather, essence as beyond being, energy as being. Okay, this is an erroneous conflation of these two axes. They're not even the same axis whatsoever. The energy will always manifest the, the essence. That's what an energy does. It manifests the essence that it is uh, attached to, right? That it is natural of. The, the uh, same axis continues to call the energy of God essential, right? Essential, essence, right? If the energy is being, but the essence is beyond being, then there must be two things there. Let me explain why. The energy will manifest the essence, okay? So if the energy is not ontologically the same level as the essence that it's manifesting, then it is manifesting a different essence. It's not manifesting that essence. The energy is ontologically on the same level as the essence which it manifests, okay? I have human energy. My energy manifests my essence, which is ontologically higher than Marco, who has a mind or an animal, you know, essence, a dog essence, at the ontological level of, of reason, of mind, of cognition, okay? And his energy manifests that essence. So if we were to say that the energy is being, the essence is beyond being, the essence is beyond being, the energy is being, that's somewhat equivalent to saying that a rock manifests the life of a tree, or that the tree manifests the mind of an animal. So this is absurd. So <clears throat> you see how, again, this is a, a second way of, of understanding how essence energy is not equivalent to being beyond being. They're not, it's not equally equivalent. They're, they're both beyond being because both the essence and the energy are on the same ontological level. Marco's energy is on the same ontological level as Marco, right, as his essence. My energy is on the same ontological level as me, as my essence, right? Because a rock 
a rock will never manifest the higher. It will represent, it will represent qua symbol, right? We've talked about this with cast. It will represent a qua symbol of that which is higher. But it won't be, won't be the same. That's not the same thing as an energy manifesting directly the essence. So again, the, the, the energy is on the same ontological level as the essence which, which it is essentializing, right? Which it, which, is, you know, which it is coming from, right? Which is the energy is part of the nature. And again, uh, <clears throat> another conflation is uh, a friend of mine asked me when he was partaking of the Eucharist, is he partaking of the essence or the energy? And, and I think this is, this is a, uh, not an accurate way of addressing this problem. You know, essence energy isn't the only way that we come into the Orthodox faith. My answer was you're partaking of the divinity, right? The essence is as much divine as the energy is divine. The energy is as much divine as the essence is divine. They're both divine. And the thing that's beyond being is the nature, is the divinity. That's, that's, a, that's yet a, another reason why the energy must be beyond being. It must be. Because it is divine. Right? It is fully divine. If you say that, that the essence is divine, excuse me, and beyond being, and the energy is divine, but being, you have two divinities. Two divinities. Again, people, uh, those who say this, they're not, they're not contemplating these things. They're, they're not sitting with the material. They're not genuinely addressing the conclusions, right? They're not, they're not going to, to, to the completion to, to really analyze the conclusions of what they're saying, okay? So the energy exists on the same ontological level as the essence. It must, or they're not connected. Uh, if if an energy is on a different ontological level, then it is a different. There is manifesting a different essence, and that which is the lower does not manifest that which is the higher. It represents that which is the higher qua symbol, but it does not directly manifest that which is higher. The higher contains the lower. The lower does not contain the higher. The lower cannot contain the higher. Otherwise, they would be the same thing. If the higher contained the lower and the lower contained the higher, it would be one thing. It would be one thing. So, a little shorter. I'm not going to make quite 10 minutes, but I'm pretty sure you get what I mean, right? Marco, Marco's energy is manifesting his essence. It's on the same ontological level of mind, of animal. Human, my energy is manifest human essence, noose on the, on the same ontological level, right? A rock's energy manifests its essence on its ontological level. A tree manifests its, a tree's energy manifests its essence on its ontological level. Okay. A tree can't manifest mind. A rock cannot manifest life. Marco cannot manifest noose. Can represent they could show symbol, they can show unity, they can show similarity, they can show dissimilarity, but they cannot do what the energy does with, with, with the essence. So <clears throat> these are totally different axes. They're totally separate graphs, right? You can't just say that the essence is unknowable, the energy is knowable, and then say, well, un, you know, beyond being is unknowable, being is knowable. Therefore, the energy is being. This, this, these are these are totally contrary, not contrary, but they are totally separate graphs, totally distinct graphs. So we have to keep these dialectical axes separate, right? Uncreated, created, divine, human, essence, energy, being, beyond being. These are distinct. Sometimes they overlap, sometimes, but not always. And to be honest, they don't overlap more often than they would, okay? So, <clears throat> have to keep these things properly ordered when, we, when we're discussing Orthodox theology, okay? Is that video? Is that a good video, little bunny? He will probably. I wonder if uh, he's gonna get gift. Yeah, I, li I liked those gifts of, uh, of Maya. They were quite cute. Thank you for making them. They were, they were very adorable, and I'll be, I'm going to be happy to share them. So, All right, did you like that video?
Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Take care.